그래. 그래야 그래. Uh, Makita first six walk chainsaw from eBay. So I just unboxed. I opened the box already, but I still didn't have uh, seen what's inside. Through. So, so this is an uh, American version. So the model number should be different for uh, the model in in Asian. Yeah, show in show in Asian. So it just changed the box. The box is not the original one. So as you can see, it's probably between a different uh, saw in, in this box. So actually not the or original one. So yeah, they just repackage using this uh, paper for insulation so in a in a transportation once we damage the chainsaw itself so here is a chainsaw main part and yeah also come with the blade and a case so, so oh the menu and a chain so model number XCU03 so actually yeah the model number changed but if if you get the version in uh Asian or, or or Australia, the part number should be different. Now I have a look of of this saw. Brushless motor, and here is the fuel lubricant uh, tank. You have to apply uh, fuel in the lubricant in order to run it smoothly so uh actually this oil will come through the front so toolless uh design so you don't have to uh, use a screwdriver to, to driven driven so here is this nut adjusting the Plate. So actually, what this do is so when your blade is installed here, then this stuff actually we go through this hole. Then while you're adjusting, it will go in front of backward to adjust the tightness of the chain okay then yeah all, all good so here is the battery gauge now uh, left hand side battery indicator by two light bulb and the right hand side is just one so this this battery is actually have more power than this yeah and have a look of the specification Sorry, it doesn't focus. So I just read it. Our first six volts and 
run the chain is traveled 20 meter per second so that means yeah the train used to go through its path for uh, 20 meter in one second pretty fast then here the lock and unlock grip so now it's lock unlock pretty heavy clutch and and mechanism inside so unlock it and you have to press this bottom power button the green indicator uh, illuminate illuminate then press the safety button and the trigger so again one two three A pretty heavy motor because while the motor accelerating I can feel the force you know oh robust now just feel down and have a look how how it work inside Okay. All the screw mounting on the housing are removed. Now I have to remove the handle. Okay. Oh. 
Oops. Still left one screw. No idea why the housing is so tight. Oh, here we still have one. So actually here it's harder screwed. Okay, now successfully. So here actually uh, separate two housing, the front park. So actually if you remove all the screw, you still can't remove this, the biggest housing because some of the screw is hard inside. And um, well, the first time, yeah. <clears throat> now here you can see the, uh, the brake mechanism so actually physically have a black brake to uh, prevent the motor spin and also have a micro switch so actually the uh, circuit board have a signal when the uh, the micro switch is connect connect and the signal can go through it. That means you unlock the brick. So, so the motor is always ready to, to go. But if you lock it, the micro switch, uh, it's cut off. Then, yeah, the signal doesn't file through the through the switch. So the circuit board detect it lock and even you press the trigger then it doesn't run now the rest of the screw I still have to remove it so actually this screw is a metal screw because this free screw actually um mounting the motor i guess because see it's screwing the metal and here still higher screw so i have to take off this so actually this is the motor direct drive so um i've saw the commercial uh, commercial of uh, this saw and they mentioned they use an auto rotor design of the motor so uh this design can increase the torque but 
you know the the speed will will decrease. If comparison to this uh, inner rotor motor. Now I just gonna remove this washer nut. Okay, it comes out. So here is the oil pump and the clutch. This is the clutch and a uh, warm and wheel uh, gear set. Yeah, here is the uh, oil pump. Then this is the direct drive motor. Then I'm gonna remove this screw as well. Okay, now it should can what? Oh, still got two screw hiding here. Okay, yeah. Okay. So actually, if you have looked, you have seen my previous episode, you you recognize I know uh, previously I just uh, tear down a chainsaw, but brush version and yeah the oil pump system is similar lubricating system similar so now let's show you how it's inside
Here is the outer rotor motor. And circuit board, battery connector, and here is a trigger and the safety stuff, safety facility. And here a big cap. 2200 mil and 50 volts. Yeah, they saw actually the motor eats a lot. So they're gonna put a heat sink in the circuit board. It's really very rare in in the power tool because I analyzed many of the power tool whatever screwdriver and uh, the chop saw and and the circuit saw they won't add uh, this stuff the heat sink that means this motor really really get a draw a uh, big current that's why the most fact have to use an extra heat sink to cooling down yeah and here the rev speed uh, controller with barrel bellow and battery indicator now i just gonna <laughs> power up the motor and have a look how actually it's work oh. so firstly this is the safety switch I just showing you uh, on top it's connected to this micro switch so now what I to do is I have to short this uh, two wire in order to uh, let this circuit board realize the safe safety switch is unlocked okay now I'm gonna prepare a, a copper to connect Now I just uh, prove my speculation is it work. So I didn't connect it. Green indicator. See, now the motor doesn't turn. And the green lights blinking. Now I use this copper a little copper wire connected <clears throat> and have a look what's happened see now the motor start turning motor is really strong and have a really small wire gauge see the wire is so good the copper is winding inside the motor pretty unique design this auto rotor design in Makita because uh, till now I just find 
this particular model chainsaw they applied the, uh, the, this kind of design motor design now I just want to see how much voltage that go through the motor while the motor running in a full speed so I got a, a power meter and I got a attach two of the phrases I just can't touch it. The conductor inside. Yeah, now. So now it's connected to the phrase. It shows 25 volts AC current. Twenty-five. So even lower than thirty volts. Why? What they thought what they did is the two batteries parallel and no connect in series then they got a uh, first x volt inside the circuit but because they have to say stabilize the, the voltage so as you know the characteristic of the battery is when a battery is full of charge it gets uh, maybe over so I, I mean individual one one batteries 18 volts that the rating rated uh, voltage but once you charge fully it might be uh, 21 volts around then yeah then both of them added should be 42 42 yeah but you have to stabilize the voltage to to make sure the motor can have the same performance in any time without the battery died so what they did is yeah they just lowered the voltage in, in 25 volt so yeah and and the batteries can be used more longer so that's pretty good design and I guess here get nothing. Just both of the batteries connect. They just uh, install together with this four screw and a dunnage here. Because the while the two is running, it have vibration. This damage can protect the batteries and also add the fraction. So when you slide in the batteries, you won't be too easy to slide in and slide out. <clears throat> yeah, and also if I'm pretty curious why the motor is come with six wire. So one phrases they get two wire come out. But 
see. Actually, the connection is same as Delta connection. I guess because it's hard to make a connection inside this motor. You can see the gap, the area inside is really clamped and you can't make any connection and insulation inside the motor. So each of the flays, they come out and just connect together. That's why you can see six wire coming out from the motor. And the ventilation system, here is the hot air coming out. And actually, this motor at the backward, it's a uh, fan design. So now I'm just gonna remove it uh, and show you. This is a wind cover. Just make sure the, the hot air can will come out from here. Now here is the motor, I probably should get out from this house. Aluminium cover, scoop on. Wow, see. It's really high level design. I mean the material. You can feel this motor is really robust and a back bearing. Well, actually, they can just run depends on this uh, back bearing, but they add a small at the back, so it can realize uh, rely on the back cover, but. As you can see now, it still can spin. So here is the uh, fan, the blade. Just want to switch on the motor and have a look. motor is really really strong oh and the inertia is really really big because you know the rotor is all made from metal and also the diameter of the rotor is really pretty big so just now you can see once I accelerate start the motor and, uh, and I yeah the motor fell on fell on the on the holder. And get yeah, it will stop. Uh they actually if you stop then you add the extra force in the motor to stop more rapidly. 
There are also safety reasons. So now I'm just gonna yeah group group it back. So yeah that's all I wanna show you how a chainsaw works. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.